Alam mo bang dito sa Eagle Game, eh talaga namang lilipad ka sa mga big prices na hatid ng app na ito. At maliban dyan, eh madali lamang mag-register at mag-cash in dito. Kaya naman wag nang magdalawang isip pa at mag-download na. Technically speaking, he has until June 13th to decide if he wants to be eligible for the NBA draft or if he wants to take another year in the NBL or wherever he would decide to go. Judging by how many teams have interest in Kai Soto, I would anticipate fully that he will want to go into the NBA draft, but unfortunately just a couple of days ago he did suffer a low ankle sprain while doing a private workout for the Atlanta Hawks. Now, the reason I, I mention this is because he's going to take a week off. The NBA draft at the time of this recording is about 16 days away. NBA draft June 23rd. So. He has six, seven-ish days to make that official decision. But like I said, I don't anticipate anything really happening. I, I would fully imagine Kai Soto gets drafted or wants to go into the draft and ends up getting drafted because, you know, I made a couple of videos the last few days talking about how he has at least 12 private workouts and some rumors are saying he has 14 private workouts. Well, he's only done a couple of them. He's only done a couple of them, and this low ankle sprain is definitely going to hold him back. But some of the teams he's already worked out with are the New York Knicks, the Orlando Magic, the Cleveland Cavs, the Chicago Bulls, and the Atlanta Hawks. So those are those are all Eastern Conference teams right there, but there is a lot of rumors. There's a lot of talk that the Sacramento Kings are interested in him at, like, I think their second round pick is number 49. Maybe it's 50, something like that. So I made a bunch of Kai Soto videos last week saying, I think... Just judging how he has at least 12 private workouts for the next couple of weeks, I was fully anticipating him just kind of blowing everybody away and getting his draft stock all the way up to the first round. Well, it's not really looking like that right now. It's not look. It's not really looking like that right now. I would imagine, I wouldn't be, I think it's more of, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be shocked if the Chicago Bulls were to take Kai Soto at like 18 but it would be interesting. I don't think that it's... I, I wouldn't put money on, on the Bulls picking them at 18. But I think that the probability, or I should say the possibility of a team taking a gamble, I don't think it's much of a gamble. Seven foot three, he's got elite basketball IQ. He's got the potential to be somebody really good in this league. I mean, he can shoot threes. Someone was complaining, like saying, bro, I looked at his stats and you know, you're overhyping this guy. I'm like, dude, this guy, this man averaged 14 minutes a game in the NBL last year. Like they clearly, Australia, and give him props, give him kudos, because I would want to do the same thing. Like he's got a whole country back in him. This man averaged 14 minutes per game. If you go back and you watch him, they not only didn't run many plays for him, but anytime he like really started get, to cook, get going, get comfortable, he would just get taken out. Just, all right, see it. So 10 points, like five rebounds, 38.5% downtown shooting in 14 minutes. When you're not even getting plays drawn for you, I am going to take that. But... For some reason, his draft stock is still like barely getting drafted. You know, most mocks I look at, the man is either not getting drafted or he's barely getting drafted. I actually have, I actually have a mock draft I was looking at earlier earlier today. I was looking around 17, 18 for a Rockets video. Let me see if I can see him. We're at first round, nothing in the first round. That's not that surprising though. Um, all right, we're at 45. I see nothing. I still see nothing. I see nothing. I see nothing. Yeah, so just just undrafted. <laughs> In the mock draft I'm reading right now, he's just undrafted yet again, as it always happens. So he's had like five NBA private workouts. You cannot tell me that these teams are trying to get like even just more than just expressed interest. That's like the most a team I think is going to come out and say about Kai Soto is like, we have a little bit of interest in you. What they're going to actually do. And here's a reason I think Kai Soto is... 100% getting drafted and as far as the Lakers go Lakers could still buy a, a second round pick they could still make something happen where you're getting a, at least a shot to get Kai Soto here's the thing though especially with overseas players these guys don't just enter drafts has ha, has hazard <laughs> haphazardly like they don't just think like all right you know let's do it all right, you know, I, I think I'm ready. I think my game's ready. Uh, I'm ready to I'm ready to join the NBA. Like, 
it's not as that that doesn't really happen as much as you may think it's usually what happens is especially with second round picks kind of maybe fringe draft players what happens is they do these private workouts and teams say all right we're taking you expect the phone call you know we have picked you know let's say we're the kings we have picked number 49 you really impressed us in this workout if you're still available at 49 we are taking you and that's the way I see that happening. So we have a quote here, Kai, a Kai Soto quote. Apparently he has, and this is from philstar.com. The word is that Soto has opened his eyes of NBA coaches as a skilled 7-3 center with a high basketball IQ. Quote unquote, with that size and length, his ability to play the game with his mind, see the floor, pass the ball, shoot the ball, he can really do everything so he's unique in that, said the skill factory coach, Jeremiah Boswell. There are things he can always improve on. In the NBA, there's a lot of small ball, switching on pick and roll, so how does he move laterally? Can he switch on guard? How does he play the pick and roll? Can, can he hedge and get back? So obviously, there's a lot more that goes into this than just, you know, oh, that boy, nice. You know, that boy's 7'3". He didn't get much of an opportunity in the NBL. When he did, he was balling. His dad played for the PBA. His uncle was a stud in the PBA. This cat's been playing street ball against grown-ass adults since the age of like seven. This man was playing grown-ass adults in competitive basketball play at the age of like 15. I mean, everything about Kai Soto to me is impressive. I see comparisons to Bol Bol and I'm like, I cannot believe that just wasted so much of my time i cannot believe how many people think this man is bobo they're completely different i mean bobo does not nearly have the skill set the arsenal in the in his pocket as kai soto does specifically on the offensive end i mean kai soto can still get you some steals he can still protect the rim he'll get you some blocks but offensively you cannot tell me you're trying to compare bobo to Kai Soto, it's literally just because of their damn height. That's why people are comparing them. It's the freaking height. So, on the Lakers, what 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 does he offer the Los Angeles Lakers? Well, as far as immediate production, that's kind of the issue, and that's why I think him going to the Lakers is a very much a long shot. They would have to look at him. They'd have to have him in a private workout or something where they would just be like, all right, Kai could probably help us out a little bit in his rookie season, but it's going to be more of a long-term play. Anybody selecting Kai Soto is mainly thinking, all right, this is a more of a long-term play. He needs at least a season in the NBA to get acclimated to the speed, just the swing of things, the travel schedule, the workouts, that kind of stuff. So who really knows? I would say the Lakers' chance of getting Kai Soto, if I'm being realistic, if I'm being real, I'd put it like less than 10%. I, I would put it less than 10%, which sucks. But if Kai Soto were to get drafted by the Lakers, if the Lakers were to want him that badly, the Lakers are going to find out a way to get him.